Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another earthquake here on the aberration map. And in this video, folks, I am going to be showing you how to get the artifact of the stalker. And I'm going to show you how to do it very, very, very easily. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. So in order to get to this artifact, you will need two things. One, you will need a rock drake with decent stats and secondly you will need a full hazard suit now the rock drake that i have is a bread rock drake and it has somewhere over 10,000 hp as you can see and a lot of stamina so over 3,000 stamina now stamina and hp are both important stats in order to do this particular artifact or this particular cave First things first, I'm going to show you how to get to the cave that contains the artifact. So as you can see, I am at the beginning portion where we spawn in. So this is the easiest portion. We'll want to stick to the right side of the map. And I'm going to show you a, a reference point that I use. You see that structure in front of us with the big hole. So we're going to go for that right through the center. Afterwards, we will want to aim for the south, and because I'm so smart, I forgot to put my hazard suit on, which, as you can see, I am taking radiation damage, but that's actually quite good, because you know now why you need a radiation suit, so I'm just going to quickly go into the inventory, put in the complete suit, and that should sort that problem out. And as I said from here, we want to head south. Um, so I'm going to get some height simply because in this portion of the map there are a lot of Reaper Queens and I do mean a lot. So we will want to avoid going by ground. So this is where I'm located now. I'm going to be heading that way which is south and just keep heading south. So I'm just quickly having a look around. Let's see what we have in the area. While I'm here, I also want to show you what to look out for in terms of Reaper Queens. Because you can tell when they are underground as well. So you want to avoid those areas. As we want to minimize the amount of damage the Rock Drake takes anyways. We do want to get there in one piece. So we're going to go towards that little hole in the middle that we can see there, or we could see. I'm not very good with the rock trick, I'm still getting used to it, and I do find it somewhat derpy. So we're going to go that way. Also, for those that know where the cave is located for the artifact, I will also post a time down in the comment section in a pinned comment so that people can just start the video from there. And I'll show you how to get to the artifact as this first part is for people who don't know where the cave is located. I will show you how to get to the artifact extremely easily easily and avoid all the nasty stuff that is there and to be honest this is actually the easiest artifact to get and you will see that in a bit if you do see dust on the ground with no creature that means that there is a reaper king or reaper queen digging underneath the ground so try and avoid those areas if possible at all okay so we are definitely quite close to the cave entrance. I'm just going to try and stay off the ground as much as possible because I don't want to aggro any nearby Reaper Queens. And as I said before, I am still getting used to this uh, whole Rock Drake thing. Okay, that'll do. There's a Reaper Queen around, so my Rock Drake has showed me that with the feathers on its head so I want to be very careful around this area yep it's behind me I think might as well get a move on 
And as you can see, the bigger part of this video is or consists in getting to the cave. And as I said before, this is to help out all the people that don't know where the cave is located and how to get to it. I'm quite close to the entrance of the cave at the moment, so I'm going to show you the coordinates once I reach the entrance of the cave. That was just me, by the way, getting my bearings. That wasn't actually the entrance to the cave yet. We can see that little circle in front of us. That is where the cave entrance is. But I'm just being extra cautious because this area of the map is quite literally littered with Reapers. So Reaper Queens and Reaper Kings as well. But to be honest, actually I've seen quite a few Reaper Queens. Now, something is taking damage. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to ignore that because I don't see that affecting both me or my dragon. So, my rock drake even. There we go. That's it. Now, this is the entrance to the cave that contains the artifact. I'm just going to find a safe area so I can show you folks the coordinates for it. And God, the camera angles on this rock track is absolutely horrendous. There we go. This is a perfect spot. So before I did have infinite stats on the rock track just to get here without any stamina issues so that the video isn't longer than need be. These are the coordinates for the entrance to the cave. So that's 84, 81.4. 48.4 I'm going to hold this out for a couple of seconds so you guys can write down the coordinates. This is the location on the map for the entrance to the cave that contains the artifact. I'll leave this out for a couple of seconds. Alright, with that being said and done let's go in and i'm going to show you how to get to the artifact and how easy this cave actually is and you'll probably realize by the time we get to the end that most of this video was about getting to the artifact or to the cave that contains the artifact and the good thing about this cave is that you can actually take in your rock drake so i won't be needing any other stuff that's on me apart from the hazmat suit which obviously this is a radioactive area okay so i'm gonna quickly edge forward a bit until i get the crosshairs i'm just gonna use this jump ability that the rock drake has as much as possible um i want to grab onto that okay i think that didn't work as <laughs> it didn't work as i planned so it is a bit derpy Do not rush it. Do not use sprint around here because you don't want to fall on to the purple water, whatever that is. So maybe a bit derpy. Take your time. There's no rush. There's no bad things to, to push you forward. So as you can see, we've avoided all that nasty stuff, which would have caused some serious damage to our rock drake. Okay, so when we get to this point you will see that there are several possibilities i know the first three lead to the same general area the one to the left i don't know where it goes i haven't actually tried that one out so we're going to take the first path so we're going to go somewhere up there i'm just going to climb on the rocks like i said before i know that the first three paths take to the same general direction so we want to go deeper in the next spot that we will use as a point of reference there is a pink waterfall there that is the pink waterfall that was on about and that is our point of reference we're going to go to this cliff and then afterwards we want to jump to the cliff past the pink waterfall 
and then from there we should be able to see in the ceiling a green oh sorry i meant blue entrance a blue hole in the ceiling with some white light and i'll put my crosshairs there once i'm in position there we go so it's right up there that is the entrance into the artifact chamber so that's where we want to go so i'm gonna go for that portion right there now let's see what i have here if there's anything that i think is dangerous i'm just gonna kite it into that river down there i'm just trying to get a good camera angle so i can see what is in the entrance of this little portion that holds the artifacts so i'm just gonna probably gonna go onto the floor okay so nothing too scary it's all right also notice that i didn't bring any form of charge i didn't bring any form of charge because i don't want to be dealing with the seekers and as you can see i didn't actually need any so i do not recommend that you bring any sort of creature that has charge on it because you will aggro the seekers that way i mean i'm probably gonna aggro the seekers this way as well but i don't really want to deal with all the seekers in this cave I'd rather reduce the amount of fighting to a bare minimum. Oh, this is well derpy. Yeah, I can't see past my creature. This is a bit annoying. So once you're here, you just want to make your way slowly deeper in to this little cave here. And you will, at some point, see the artifact. Okay, so there are some seekers ahead of me. I saw some wings flapping. I'm gonna try and go on the ceiling, maybe avoid aggroing them if the straight really wants to go <laughs> where I want it to go. Okay, I guess I'll have to deal with these guys. So this will take a couple of seconds. Right, Seeker's dealt with. Now the artifact should be just below me, but there are some other creatures that I want to deal with before I actually go for the artifact. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go slightly further. And in front of me there's a straight wall. So I'm going to aggro them with a weapon off of this wall. Kind of like so. Switch to first person. All right, which side are they on? Ah, there they are. And I'm just going to shoot each and every dino once so that they want to come towards me and fall off that cliff, as you can see right there. Now for the Orthoplorus, and I think for good measure, I am going to deal with that dung beetle. Okay, those are dead. Just wanted to make sure. And there goes the dung beetle. So that area is now clear. We didn't have to fight anything. We did use a few bullets. So let's go and get the artifact. And here it is. I'll quickly go and pick up the artifact. So there is the artifact of the stalker. Here are the coordinates for the artifacts location within the cave. And now that I've got the artifact, I am going to make my way out the exact same way that I came in, which is probably going to be easier. Okay, so I want to get to the ceiling now. Yeah, I have a poop in the middle of a cave. There we go, that's it. That's the way we're going. We're going back out of that little exit that we came in, in the ceiling. And for those that have seen enough, you just basically go out the exact same way that we came in. Oh, 
Well, they really need to sort these camera angles out. Okay, we're out. So I'm just going to use this uh, this jump ability that the rock drake has from here on. So I'm going to go somewhere around there. And I can already see the pink waterfall. So I want to try and get as close as I can to the exit. In as few jumps as possible. That is the aim of the game now. Obviously without upsetting all the creatures that are in this cave. Okay, okay. Um, so right there there's a pillar so we're gonna go onto that pillar and from here on you should see the entrance that we came in okay so I wanna aim for the base of that cliff right there oh that that failed and this is what happens if you fall into the pink water thing whatever that is from here on you should be able to find your way back out and that is it for this video folks I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found this tutorial and walkthrough useful if you have please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and why not check out some of my other videos who knows you might just enjoy them until next time stay safe folks